Today I'm going to show you how to repair a chip in your windshield using the Permatex windshield repair kit. I just picked this one up at the local auto parts store because it's a good idea to repair these quick so they don't turn into cracks and ruin your windshield. So this can save you a lot of money. Um, sometimes you might have comprehensive insurance that might cover this for free. So you look into that before you buy the kit to do it yourself. And you're going to want to get uh, the kit itself and get a little bit of alcohol, paper towel to wipe up the excess and to keep things clean. Saltus's additional tools recommended are the push pin and the razor blade. So we got a little push pin and a little razor blade here to use. So we'll use these tools. So here we have the syringe it comes with. This little sticky pad that has the hole in the middle where the chip goes. And the resin that actually repairs the chip and this little part that has the syringe attachment and where they put the resin in. So we'll show you how this all works here. And then here it comes with some instructions as well. And then this clear little thing to go on top where it cures in the sunlight when you're all done. Anyway, there's the little chip that I was talking about. So you take your little push pin here and just make sure there's no loose little bits of glass where the chip is and just dig them out if there are any little loose bits of glass or debris or anything in there. You don't want to incorporate any bits of dirt or glass into the resin where the repair is going to be done. Take a little bit of alcohol, a paper towel, or a microfiber cloth or something like that. Have a good shop paper towel that doesn't have lint on it and a little bit of alcohol on here. Alcohol evaporates quickly, especially when it's a warm day like today. I'm just going to wipe all around there to make sure it's super clean. So you take this little adhesive disc. Take off one of those. And then it goes around where the hole is. Make sure it's firmly pressed in place. There's no air bubbles. You want this to be a good airtight seal around where the, the chip is. And then you peel off the other side and there's it's sticky on both sides of this. Okay, and then you take the little plastic piece here and just Fit it carefully over the top, so it's right in line with that. Press that down firmly, make sure there's a good tight seal there as well. We have our resin. Now at this point I'm going to put gloves on because you don't want to get that resin on your fingers. And then have this wipe ready in case there's any extra. Here it says to put about three-fourths of the tube down into the bottom here. That's probably good. Okay. Now you take your syringe. Again, this is nice and pressed in place. You're supposed to pull up to create a vacuum. There we go. You can see the bubbles coming out. Creating a vacuum and pulling all the air out and allowing the resin to settle all the way down into where that chip is. And we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. You can see the bubbles happening there. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes, so we're going to take this syringe off. It's been creating the vacuum as we pulled up. It created a strong vacuum that pulls out any of the air bubbles. I'm going to tap this to help any of those air bubbles release if they need to. It's been at least 10 minutes. Our crack is small, so you can see there's still resin that's pulled up there in the syringe itself. So some of it might come out when I do this. So I'm getting this ready just to catch some of that excess resin. And you want to wear gloves so you don't get it on your skin. But we're going to pull this syringe out. And now that resin is going to drip back down into the well here. So you pull, pull that out and you can see that um, the pressure has been released. 
So now that the pressure is released, I'm going to put the syringe back on, and push it in tight, and then I'm going to actually push down to where the next mark is. So you can see the little mark in the side of the syringe. It's not a normal syringe, it has a little notch in it here. And by pushing down and then locking it in that position. So now we're having pushing the opposite way. Now because this is pushing down, there's actually a pressure that wants it to release. So that pressure, you know, leave that for it says leave for at least 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes with the um, the syringe pushing down and pu forcing the resin down into the crack, and it actually looks really good now. Um, it's probably about 90 degrees in our garage right now because it's about 100 degrees outside. And uh, I was a little concerned about the heat because it recommends doing this between the temperatures of 45 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, today it's more like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a hot day in July. But I didn't want to have to wait for the weather, so we, we set up a fan to keep it cool and we put some frozen water bottles here underneath uh, the windshield and also on the other side some frozen stuff to kind of cool down the temperature of the windshield just a little bit. I don't know if that was really necessary, but I was just trying to make sure we weren't too hot for this to work. Okay, it's been sitting for 20 minutes and we checked on the underside and it looks like it's filling in the void really well. So now that it's been sitting there, we can go ahead and take this off. We want to have paper towels ready to catch any excess resin here. And we're going to take our razor and just take it off here now. Slide it underneath. Actually, we can probably take this out of the way now. Release that vacuum. And they say you don't want to let any of this resin come in contact with painted surfaces, which means your car paint. But on the glass, it's fine. There you go. That's coming off fine now. Wow, it looks awesome. I can hardly even see the broken spot at all. I can barely even. I can't even tell where it's at now. Take what's left of your resin and get your plastic thing ready here. A little drop on there. And then press that plastic in place. And that looks pretty good actually. And then you take your, your razor blade, just push out any air. So I splattered a little resin up here when I was pulling off that syringe and I'm just going to wipe it off with some alcohol before I let it sit out in the sun because I don't want big blobs of resin all over my windshield that I'll have to clean off later once they're hardened. I'm going to position my car so it's facing direct sunlight as the sun sets here over the next few hours. It's going to cure that resin and make it really strong and hard. I'm going to park in a place where I'm out of the way but now that resin is gonna harden in the sun. Let it sit there for a good 15 minutes to an hour is what it recommends. On a shady day, you need to be an hour. In this kind of direct sunlight, probably just take 15 minutes, but I'll let it sit a little bit longer. We uh, let that sit in the sun for a couple hours and just let it cure. And then I had to run and go do something, so I actually left it there for several hours. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and clean this off, but it reduced that chip. It's almost entirely gone. It's in a teeny, teeny speck. So it worked quite well, so I'm really impressed. I'm just gonna take the razor blade and scrape off the, uh, <clears throat> the remaining excess resin here. There's that little plastic part that goes on it. Yeah, it looks amazing. That little speck of a chip is gone, it looks amazing. So, yep. Turned out awesome. We'll clean this up, it'll be great. Just wiping off any excess here, it's looking great. Can hardly even see a trace of that window chip. It's hard to even find now, it's a teeny speck. It's the size of a grain of sand, if that. 
So it's looking awesome. Yeah, it's hard to even find that thing. Turned out really great. Good idea, save yourself some money, get that fixed.